Okay, today what I want to do is just simply go over a lot of ways that you can do to go ahead and learn how to use fewer mats. Now we should be able to go over to Cricut Design Space here. And I just want to check to make sure that you can see Cricut Design Space. All right, inside Cricut Design Space, you're going, I have a project here that has three different things. Now, if I simply click on Make It here, they're going to go on three different mats, and that's what I'm trying to avoid right here. I'm trying to find a way that I can move things from mat to mat. So if I click here, I would have to move this item to the first mat. So I'm just going to click on Move Object. So this is one way to do it and confirm. I want it the same color. But then I would have to move it into position. And as you can see, things don't fit quite well. They do overlap. So I would have to then put it into the corner, turn it so that I can get it to fit, and try and straighten it out. And it's a little bit of messing around. As far as the third mat goes, no problem. So here's my quick little tip for you today. What we're going to do is we are going to draw in a shape. I'm going to pick on a square. And this is going to be 11 and a half by 11 and a half. Great. I'm just going to make it a different color so it's easier on the eyes. I'm going to push that and then I'm going to arrange it and I'm going to send it to the back. Now, I've got a nice square that I can work with, so anything within there will work quite well. So if I wanted to put these two items on the same mat and not have to go through the mat process, this is what I would have to do. Let me just pull this up here. I would simply just bring in the piece I'm working with and then the next piece that I wanted to rotate. Now I don't have to guess on the rotation here. I can simply type in 90 and there we go and then I can fit it into position any which way I want so that it sits there. So that's within that square. Now I don't actually need the square anymore but I am just going to turn off the visibility and that way I can pick on these two items and I can attach them. Now I know I've got the mat now set up the way I want it. Now you'll see there's lots of other spaces. If you had smaller pieces, you could actually add them in. Now this time when I go to hit make it, you'll see it's already on the mat the same way and I don't have to make any mat adjustments and that saves you a ton of time. So I hope you're able to use this tip and I will have another tip for you next week.